What's up everybody, Ryan here, coming at you from Canton, Ohio. It's Friday, and I've got a repair to make on a uh, York unit. Gonna be doing a combustion blower, flame sensor, igniter, ignition control, limits, things of that nature, but the uh, main problem with this one is the combustion blower's bad. Two-stage York, it's got two gas valves, two sets of burners, uh, independent you know from each other and the uh, combustion blower on this is a uh, double wheel so it's a little more in-depth than uh, just a regular combustion blower so I'm gonna get this thing taken all apart and uh, put it back together and grab my other box and filters with my parts in it but yeah, what a beautiful day. Warmed up, just under 50 degrees. I've got too much clothes on to take this hoodie off once I get to the unit, because I'm sweating already. But yeah, this is uh, Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Other than that, there's not much here. And as you can see, we're on a lovely strip mall. I'm going to grab this box of parts, these filters, get back over to the unit, and I'll see you when I get there. I was on a tool hunt and didn't even know it. I don't know. I might hit those up with the wire wheel. Throw them in my toolbox at home. Yeah, buddy. All right, here we are. And I've got a lake to stand in while I make the repair. So, all right guys, as you can see here, I've got 216 volts to the uh, combustion blower. I tested the capacitor, it's good. So we've basically got a bad motor um, and that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down, but let me show you here. We've got this uh, combustion blower here. It's like your standard York, but you've got two blower wheels. So you've got a real long shaft. So what we're gonna have to do is take this panel off here get the uh, the wheel off and then um, we'll be able to pull it all out you got to make sure you get your blower wheels in the right way because it's pretty easy to uh, get them backwards and that will cause you an issue so uh, let me test make sure my power is off I don't have a hot leg or anything like that and then we'll get started all right guys the power is off I tested between all three legs and to ground and we're good to go at least I've got enough room to get my drill in there. So you're going to want to go ahead and remove all these screws. And once you've got all your screws off to the side, go ahead and pull that open. And then as you can see, we've got our blower wheel here. Oh yeah, that don't sound good. What we're gonna do is get our Allen wrench in there. We've got two set screws. We've gotta loosen up and uh, hopefully this thing will pull right off. If not, uh, you might have to get the grinder out or something along those lines. All right, so I've got it in there now. What I'm gonna do is grab my crescent wrench or a long extension. Maybe I'll use the extension and I'm gonna try to loosen that up. There it goes. All right, so we got one loose. Go ahead and find the other set screw here get in there oh yeah all right so now i'm in this one a little leverage there it goes and ta-da all right set that off to the side as you can see they look almost identical the only difference is the turning vanes are going the opposite direction that way you can have this one on the bottom and this one on top and when you do it like that as you can see now they're both going the same way so they'll spin like this so let's take these over and we'll get them matched up and that way we've got all our parts in order we're not getting mixed up putting things in backwards disconnect our wires and we're gonna unzip all these screws here and then this whole thing's gonna pull out I'm gonna go ahead and use the right angle attachment here because some of these ones back here are a little tight and getting your drill in there is kind of a pain if you don't have a right angle attachment get one they're awesome and it saves you from having to use a little ratchet wrench or anything like that and it looks just like this 
In fact, I need to go pick up another one for my second bag. And I've got that Malco reversible 5 16 3 8 I keep in this. And then that'll allow me to zip, 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 get in there and pull those screws out. All right, guys, and as you can see now, I've got everything out and your whole assembly comes out like that. Pretty easy. So I'm gonna get out of the water here and I'm gonna set up right over here and we'll go ahead and uh, take everything apart because what we're gonna have to do is we gotta get this wheel off and then there's some nuts under there we have to take off and there's some spacers we have to reuse because they were on back order. I'm gonna clean up those nuts with the wire wheel, put a little WD on them. Everything should come apart. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up these two set screws. It, there we go. There's one. There's two. Yeah, boy. There we go. And that's that. Now that I got the blower wheels off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these uh, nuts. We have to reuse them, so hopefully they all come off and don't snap. If so, I'll have to go down to the van and uh, find some new ones. Good enough. Give those a little hit. Orient the way the motor goes into the plate here. Try to get it back in the same way or else your wires, you might not be long enough, something like that. So uh, now we're just gonna loosen them up. That was a success. Got all four of them off. And then we're gonna have to remove the mounting plate. There we are. That's that, said, I'll give that a nice wipe down and uh, before we reinstall it. And then we're gonna wanna get these spacers off. They feel a little tight, so hopefully they come loose. If not, I think I have some tucked away somewhere down the van. All right, guys, well, these usually come off. These ones are rusted in, but I found a set. I dug deep down into my box of goodies, found them there right at the bottom. It's nice to save every last little thing. I'm like a hoarder, so we got those. I'm gonna wipe this down, get this new motor put in place, uh, bolt it down with the spacers, and we'll start putting this thing back together. All right, guys, there's a little flat spot right here on the shaft, so you're gonna wanna get your wheel right in there, but you gotta remember, there's a, gonna be a top plate here. We wanna get that uh, blower wheel spaced in there so it's not gonna rub on the top or on the bottom. You just wanna get it perfect. So we're gonna get it put in place. We're gonna tighten it down a little bit, but not all the way. We're gonna set it up in the housing and make sure it's not hitting anything. So this one's gonna go with the closed end down. Boom, just like that. And then I like to just split the difference on that flat spot. I'm gonna get it in place. I'm gonna tighten it, but not all the way down to where I'm gonna mar the uh, shaft. That way, if we have to adjust it, if it's rubbing, we can get it off. So I'm liking that. It's gonna be going that direction. As you can see, I got it spaced right there, just above those nuts, so it shouldn't be rubbing on the bottom. Now, if we can get it to not rub, on the top housing it's going to be right here we'll be good to go we can tighten that down we'll uh, put some high temp silicone around here and screw it back in place so let's go see if it's gonna sit in the unit and not rub all right so there we go it looks like it's not going to rub i'm going to set the camera down i'm going to spin the shaft make sure we're good to go yep i like it so we're good to go i'm going to go ahead and tighten this blower wheel back down 
get my high temp silicone out. We'll throw a small bead on there. You don't need a ton on there, just enough to seal it up. All we got left now is to clean this up. I'm gonna throw another bead of silicone around here. All this stuff is, uh, it's just dry and coming apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll get this other blower wheel put in place and put the top plate on. We got silicone in there, it's all sealed up. We've got our other blower wheel. You're gonna wanna put it with the closed end up top because we're, we're drawing the flue gas, the combustion gas up through and out. So you don't wanna put it on this way. That's wrong, not good. You need the closed end up top, just like so. Line everything up and then it'll, it'll spin this way, so. Oh yeah, right there. That's the money right there. Yeah, buddy, that ain't going anywhere. All right, tighten up the second set screw and we'll be good to go. She's back in. Give her the old spin test here. I like it. Both my blower wheels are in the right direction, so they're both drawing from this side. This is a just a cavity down here. It's drawing your air in, in here to mix with the gas to burn through the tubes, uh, through this uh, cavity back here, and then drawing out the uh, combustion gas. So pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing back up and then carry on with the rest of the repairs. So I'm all wired up, zip tied, nice and neat. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with all the other parts I'm here to replace. So uh, get ready for a uh, overly edited montage of me doing the rest of the work. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out R and W for now. I'm sure the uh, thermostat has a delay on it. These boards, they count down from like 180 or something like that before they'll fire. So I'm gonna jump it and apply power and I'll bring you back when it starts to do something. Well, nothing went boom, that's a good sign. 
this board should start reading it'll say Johnson controls and then it starts yep Johnson controls JCI and then it starts a countdown and uh, I really don't 119 so I don't know if you can see that kind of hard to see I'm sure but it's doing its little countdown I'll let it do that I'm gonna clean up and I'll bring you back well we got something our combustion blowers working and they're both blowing out that's a good thing it says heating so it should be igniting here shortly boy I sure hope they have gas here <laughs> yep, I got spark Hey, we got lift off. We make sure that both sets of burners ignited here. I got heat up top, I got heat down below. That's good to go. I love it when something works. So I'm gonna let this heat for a bit while I clean up and then I'll get some zip ties in here and pin everything up, make it look nice and neat. That's a good thing. Oh damn, car accident. Just missed it. Hopefully everybody's all right. This guy's gonna run out there and see if they're all right. Yeah, anyway. Well, I'm assuming there'll be some police here soon. Anyway, back to what I'm doing. But uh, I'm gonna sit here and watch this thing run, get this panel on, and start hauling my shit to the edge of the roof. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming up. Leave a comment, hit like. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, I'm like, I'm sure. I'm like, hey, get down. I'm gonna be here too. Get down. I'm gonna be here early. The chair is always here. Yeah. Unless she's packed, she's gonna be two minutes late. So you know. So of course it's five. Still, she's here. I'm like, hey, she's here. So you better get down here. So she's cool down.